Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property The Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property was signed in Paris, France, on March 20, 1883. This was regarded as one of the first intellectual property treaties. It established a union for the protection of industrial property and this convention currently still stands in force. How was the Paris Convention signed? History Following a diplomatic conference held in Paris in 1880, the convention was signed on March 20, 1883 by 11 countries. These included Belgium, Brazil, France, Guatemala, Italy, the Netherlands, Portugal, El Salvador, Kingdom of Serbia, Spain, and Switzerland. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos about intellectual property rights. Guatemala, El Salvador and Serbia denounced and reapplied for the convention by accession. The treaty was revised at Brussels, Belgium, on December 14, 1900, at Washington, United States, on June 2, 1911, at The Hague, Netherlands, on November 6, 1925, at London, on June 2, 1934, at Lisbon, Portugal, on October 31, 1958, and at Stockholm, Sweden, on July 14, 1967. Finally, it was amended on September 28, 1979. Contracting Parties of the Paris Convention One of the most commonly referenced treaties globally, the convention had 179 contracting member nations as of April 21, 2022. Administration of the Paris Convention The World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO, which has its headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland, is in charge of overseeing the Paris Convention provisions of the Paris Convention. The essential provisions of the convention fall into three major categories. National treatment, priority right, and common rules. Paris Convention national treatment. As per the Articles 2 and 3 of this treaty, juristic and natural persons who are either nationals of or domiciled in a state party to the convention shall, as regards the protection of industrial property, enjoy in all the other countries of the Union the advantages that their respective laws grant to nationals. This means that when an applicant files an application for a patent or a trademark in a foreign country, member of the union, the application must receive the same treatment as if it came from a national of this foreign country. Furthermore, if the intellectual property right is granted, that is, the applicant becomes owner of a patent or of a registered trademark, the owner benefits from the same protections. Also, he benefits from the same legal remedy against any infringement as if the owner was a national owner of this right. Paris Convention Priority Right The Convention Priority Right, also known as Paris Convention Priority Right or Union Priority Right, was also established by Article 4 of the Paris Convention. It is regarded as one of the cornerstones of the Paris Convention. It states that an applicant from one contracting state will be able to use its first filing date, in one of the contracting states, as the effective filing date in another contracting state. For this, the applicant, or his successor in title, must file a subsequent application within 6 months, for industrial designs and trademarks, or 12 months, for patents and utility models, from the first date of filing. Temporary protection for goods shown at some international exhibitions. Article 11 one of the Paris Convention states that the countries of the Union grant temporary protection to patentable inventions, utility models, industrial designs, and trademarks, in respect of goods exhibited at official or officially recognized international exhibitions held in the territory of any of them. This simply means that if a patent or trademark registration is applied during the temporary period of protection, the priority date of the application will be counted from the date of introduction of the goods into the exhibition. This will not be counted from the date of filing of the application only if the temporary protection referred to in Article 11.1 has been implemented in such a manner in national law. However, there are other means through which the countries of the Union can implement the temporary protection provided for in Article 11 of the Paris Convention in their national law. For instance, in case of exhibited patentable inventions, they can make provision for temporary protection by other means. They can prescribe that during a period, such exhibition will not destroy the novelty of the invention and the person who exhibits the invention will also be protected against usurpation of his invention by third parties. Recognizing a right of prior use in favor of the exhibitor against potential rights obtained by other parties is yet another option for protection. Mutual Independence of Patents and Trademarks in the Different Countries of the Union 
Articles 4 bis and 6, for patents and trademarks respectively, states that for foreigners, the application for a patent or the registration of a trademark will be determined by the member state with respect to their national laws and not by the country of origin or any other countries. So, patent applications and trademark registrations fall to be independent among contracting countries. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel at PGuru. Also, do not forget to click on the bell icon on your screen.